In today's quick tip video, I show you how to connect the material color to our object color that is controlled here in the viewport display. So for example, when I change this color to pink, then you can see in the viewport the color changes. And we are not in the material preview, we are in the solid mode of our viewport. So we have connected the color of a material to our viewport color here. So let's see how this works. Okay, I've created two objects here. One's a cube and a torus. So this object has no materials and I switch here to my shader editor and I uh, create a material for the cube first and tell it you are the cube material and this one is a new material and it's called torus okay so we have a torus materials and uh, material and a cube material in the solid mode we don't see the color of this material directly so when i change here the white to pink for example I don't see any changes, I just see them here in the material preview and the viewport shading, material preview, yes. Okay, and the same for the torus. To see object information, you can go to the solid mode and go to this pull down menu and switch from material to object, for example. But this doesn't change much, you don't see, still don't see the material color. To see a color, you can go here in the properties, to the object properties, and as you maybe know, you can change the viewport display, and there you can change the color of this object. In this uh, case, the color is white in the viewport. When I change it here to another color, then it, the color changes. And this is the idea to connect this color with this color of this material, of the cube. So how to do this? We do it by using drivers. To create a driver for the color values, you just do the following, it's very easy. You go here to this material of the cube, open the color panel here, and switch, for example, to RGB. Uh, that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it, RGB. And is the go you go to the first value here, the red one. And then we press the right mouse button, then a menu appear and we switch or go down and copy on copy as the new driver. We do this here, it's the easiest way to do this. Copy as new driver. Now our new driver for the red channel of this color value is in the memory. Now we go to the right side here to the viewport color of our cube and to do the same way a bit different, we click on the color panel and switch to RGB, and then we go on this R value, press the right mouse button and say paste driver, because we have a copy of the driver of the left one, of the left material color, and now we do paste driver. And now you see the, the value changes to a pink color. This means here is a driver con controlling by uh, this value. So this driver here uh, from this value, from the R value, controls now the red value of this uh, color here. We have to do now the same for all the other values. So you go back here to the color panel, go to right mouse button, copy, go here back and paste the driver. And it's the same you are doing here. Copy for the blue one here and go to this panel and paste here, you see, to the blue one. And if you want, you can do the same for the alpha channel. So we do it to the same, copy as a new driver, go here and paste, uh, paste the driver here. So what happened now, you already see, the color of, color of the cube is now used here in our viewport. So when I change this here, I change my color in the viewport. So it's not only in the material preview, it's the color will be used in the solid view too. So that's, that's very easy.
So what about this object here? I would like to show you a fast way to do the same for a new object, because maybe you need this for the viewport for several objects. So what we can do to make it re relatively fast or in a fast way. As you know, we should uh, actually we should go here and go here and copy all these values uh, one by one and paste them here. But that's a bit yeah tricky or it needs a lot of time. So what I do now is a small trick in Blender. I take this model here because everything is set up here and duplicate this model shift D and move it here a bit to this to the front. And now we have two cubes. Okay. So when I change this material, those colors of the cubes will be changed because this material is on those objects. That's logic. So what we do now is we select this torus. Um, sorry, we select this cube and then we select this torus and say your cube have to be the torus. To do this, you link the data. So you press Control L and then you see this make links uh, menu here and say link the object data of our torus to the cube. And now the cube is the torus. So as soon as I edit, for example, the torus, the cube or this object changes too. So what we have done is to we, we copy it the, the material. So um, uh, we, we copy it, not the material, we copy it the color information for the viewport to this new torus. The old torus is not needed anymore, so we can delete it. Now we have only one instance, only one copy of this here. Okay, but we want to have the torus material, the white or well, let's say the yellow material. So what to make, uh, what to, how to change this? As I told you, we want to have a, 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 real, a relatively fast way. So what we do now is we go here and of, uh, we go to the torus color in the viewport, right mouse button, and then we open the driver's editor. A driver's editor uh, is a special window that opens, or you can do the same by uh, switching here or opening a new window, split the window here and then switch to drivers and then you see the drivers editor and by pressing N you see the properties here. So when I click on the R color, it's now here, this cube one is the name, but actually it's not the cube, it's the torus. I change it, torus. The name was taken from our uh, object before we have, we have made a copy and the copy name was used. So, okay, so for explanation. So back to the drivers. Here we have the RGB drivers and every uh, color is here in the drivers tab. And as you can see, the cube, this material, controls the color of our torus. And we want to change this. This cube material, and this is very, um, and it's very fast. If you go here to this prop uh, or here to the menu and say torus. And the same you do for the green channel and the same for the blue channel and maybe for the alpha channel. And now all the colors from our torus material, this one controls our new torus. So you see, it's a bit easier and faster maybe than change the, the viewport display uh, drivers by copying them. But you have to do it the first time and then, then you can use this workflow, for example, to, to transfer uh, the, the values or the drivers to another object. So keep this in, in uh, sometimes it's not maybe not possible to copy just the object data, but actually it should work in the most cases. So now you see, it's very easy to uh, create or to link the material color of a material to display it in the viewport. And then if you like, you can copy the information in a relatively fast way to another object and have the drivers there. So I hope you liked my small quick tip and we'll see us next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.